Welcome to ComSpark. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, my name is Matt Maxted. I'm on the executive host committee for uh, ComSpark, and I'll be your guest host today. Uh, today we're here with Chris Hauser from Signature Healthcare Services. Um, so what would you see are the biggest priorities for IT within healthcare today? So, wow, great question. I think that it's not just in healthcare, it's across the uh, IT landscape, across industries. So if you think of data strategy, you think of AI, you think of security, um, you think of the cloud or hybrid cloud, uh, all those are consistent no matter which industry we're in. So the biggest ones for um, healthcare right now is interoperability. We have so many different data points and connections, whether it's with healthcare providers, whether it's insurance companies, whether it's the system or the care system itself. So right now we're really focused on interoperability and exchange of that data uh, and then making the uh, resident or patient uh, flow consistent through all those systems so that we know that Mr. Jones with social security number and his MRID or his medical record number um, match throughout those systems so we can track him throughout the continuum of care and provide great service uh, to him. I'd say second is security. Uh, again, across all industries, it's important in healthcare, it's HIPAA, it's, P it's PCI to some extent, and at the other side, it's EPHI, and how do we control that data and make sure that it's secure um, as that resident comes through the door and, and we protect it. Uh, thirdly, most important in our environment is right now is data strategy, right? So how do we, how do we use data? How do we track data? Uh, everything from data governance to data metrics. Where the, where the resident comes from, where the resident's going, what, what medications, how many falls, et cetera. So it's really important for us to, to have a good sense of where that data is at all times. Um, we don't want outdated information. We want data that we can use for the future and use it as predictive, um, not just as uh, data at that point in time. So t top IT priorities, I'd say that's where we're at. Okay. Uh, why are speed, agility, and business alignment um, important for CIOs today in your industry? Well, that, that question couldn't be asked in a more perfect time. Right now at uh, Signature Healthcare, um, I've been there two years, and when I came on board, we were making a transition or had to make a transition for our EHR platform. So with that, we had PDPM, a new payment model that came on board as well. So between the time I joined to that change was roughly 10 months. So a complete EHR refresh and upgrade across, a, across 115 locations in a matter of 10 months is pretty significant. Uh, it took a lot of, lot of effort a lot of time, you gotta be agile, and you had to have business alignment there as well. So w once the EHR um, was done, everything from there is trickle down effect. So we had everything from the intake process or CRM, as you would say, and then any touch points within our facilities. So we had old kiosks that were on the wall, and in the past, you would go up and you touch those kiosks and you interact, and so we'd probably have five, six, seven of those kiosks on walls in the hallways of our care centers um, during that time. The um, EHR had us rethink technology to some extent and in everything that touched it. So if you go down to the facility level, you think of wireless, you think of network, you think of connectivity. So instead of having kiosks, we replaced those with tablets. Mm -hmm. uh, we put those in each hand of the CNA so we can get real-time care at the bedside and then back to um, the nurse's station or all the way through that, that care uh, practice through the building. You take that with to do tablets, you're gonna need wireless. So then we had to do a wireless refresh in the majority of our buildings. I'd say we got 75% of that done to date. So look at the wireless, how does the wireless connect? So then you look at network, how do I get stability, reliability, and uptime? We put in SD-WAN across 115 of our locations. Uh, we're looking at putting in primary and secondary circuits uh, to give continuous uh, uptime and availability in that space, so. Great. Um, how do you develop your IT vision and strategy and why is that important to you? First and foremost is being a good listener, right? So when you come in new to an environment, you've got to be able to sit down with leaders across the business and understand what are their top priorities? Where do they want to go? And as you listen to those, I, I picture it as a puzzle in my head, right? So I look at end game or end result, where do they want to be? And then I back into that with putting a piece of the puzzle in place. Um, and like I said, you've got to be a good listener in that aspect. But I also think you've got to be very uh, aware of those different business units, different business silos, and how they operate, how they work. So everything from marketing to finance to HR uh, to nursing to revenue, you've got to be able to operate in that space as well because IT, you are a service provider to all those entities across the business. Thank you, Chris, for joining us today. Uh, for more information, please visit comspark.tech.